Hi, I'm Chris with Tennis Warehouse and I'm here with Alexa and Aaron and they're both really good at using rackets but I know a little bit more about the tech on rackets so I'm going to give them a little few tips here on some of the things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the racket from the middle and this is how we feel what we call static weight of the racket. So the weight of the racket is really important. It's one of the key influences on how a racket is going to play. If we slide our hand down now to the handle and we just give it a, a little movement here, now we're feeling swing weight. And that's one of the other key influences on how a racket's gonna play. So the more weight or the more mass of a racket that is away from your hand, the more you're gonna feel that weight and the swing weight will be higher, if that makes sense. Um, and now a lot of that is in, um, in the balance of a racket. So you can have a headlight racket. So if you were to hold it here and it's gonna tip this way, your racket's headlight and then obviously if it doesn't tip at all, it's pretty even. And then if it does tip the other way, it's a head heavy racket. And so that's just kind of where the distribution of mass is. Now you can have a lot of mass around the balance point, which is mm -hmm. the throat of the racket, which will increase the swing weight. Mm -hmm. um, you won't feel it as much here, but you definitely feel it when you're holding it and you'll feel it when you go to, to move it. That'll be just a tougher racket to maneuver. Something that I actually recently learned was that each racket that we get weighs a little bit differently whether it's just a couple of um, ounces or something so what I've learned is that you know st great stringers and I think you guys offer this is that you can um, balance each racket so each racket weighs the same so when you're pulling you break a string and you pull another racket out of your bag you're actually getting the same one the same weight and everything distributed yeah rackets that and when they're made there's a lot of hands-on making of a racket so you do get a slight variance and a good stringer or a tennis warehouse do we offer a racket matching service and you can get them match and you're good to go. Aaron, do you use one racket for the entire match? Do you change with the ball changes and then do you get fresh racket strung up for your matches? Yeah, so I always use the same racket for the whole match no matter what, even if it's new balls or if I'm not really feeling it, I'll, st I'll blame myself, definitely not the racket. Um, so I'll use the same racket for the whole match and I always get a new racket strung up for every match that I play. So that's something that I kind of recently started doing and I felt that it made a really big difference. Um, anything else you guys want to learn about your racks? <laughs> um, no, you taught me a lot in yeah. like three minutes. Yeah, so. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you for that. No problem. The other thing is, is also each racket has a stiffness. This is one thing you can't customize. So if you work with a, a customizer or a good stringer, they can alter the weight and balance and the swing weight of your racket just by adding some tungsten or lead tape. But the stiffness of the racket's built in at the factory, and that's one thing you can't. Um, change but when you do string a racket it's going to drop a couple of points in stiffness um, it also is going to add weight and swing weight obviously because the string weighs something but that's the one thing you can't change is your racket stiffness but everything else you can play around with thanks Chris for all the information we learned today for more videos like this head to tenniswarehouse.com <laughs>